Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Google searches for Antarctica are starting to turn up some very strange images as you get into the later pages of the search, especially when you do an image search. I found this artist's rendering of some type of a castle, for lack of a better term, out in the mountains when I searched Antarctica on Google. And there's something about it that just doesn't make sense. In yesterday's video, we talked about this image that I found quite a long time ago that just has a very strange feel to it. It almost has a real sense to it that somebody perhaps was here and for whatever reason didn't have the ability to take pictures. Perhaps the lighting was wrong, perhaps it was classified, and they just kept the image in their mind. And when they got back to civilization, they recreated it just with ink and a paintbrush or some computer program online. But this new image there's something in it that just doesn't make sense. Look in the background. What are these two giant smokestack towers? These can't possibly be a representation of silos. This isn't how silos were built at the time when buildings and castles were created in this style. This looks very... 15th, 16th century, medieval Europe, these silos look 20th century. Why would someone create an image like this if they were just attempting to be artistic? Why would they confuse the two? Well, what if this was a real place in Antarctica where there was still a building standing? that was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago that had just been repurposed for a new use. These could be storage tanks for oil, 
petroleum. Who knows? Perhaps there's something underground here. It Grain storage doesn't make sense because look at the location. Way out here in the mountains? How would you possibly get it up here? How would anybody possibly get here without some major climbing equipment? There are a lot of unanswered questions about this image and why it would turn up during a Google search for Antarctica. I've made the allegation before in another video, some of you might have seen it, that the story that was told on HBO many years ago, Game of Thrones, might not have been complete fiction. It might have been the telling of or retelling, I guess I should say, of a history that's been lost of a certain region that would change everything. This channel has shown more evidence of giants than I think just about any other channel, real evidence, that you can find using Google Earth Pro. You can go down there and see it. If you go to my channel on YouTube, you can find a playlist called Antarctica, and it covers all of this. I don't think that's in dispute. There was one image from Game of Thrones that really caught my attention, though. It was this representation of a place called Castle Black, the Wall. It was a human habitation where they sent kind of men who had made mistakes to act as a uh, defense against something from the other side of the ice. The technique they used here, though, was classic European. You built these walls, and then there's parapets, and there's buildings. And so the building themse buildings themselves, pardon me, act as part of the wall. And then you have these interior courtyards where daily life just takes place. Protected within the walls, and of course, the height of the wall gives you the ability to see. Now... Let me show you something I found in Antarctica, and tell me what you think. We have this giant ridge here, but right at the base of it, there is what looks like a structure with parapets, and it's square. I kid you not, it is square. Now, it's kind of blurry, but if you look right here, you see this very square image. You have a building here, a building here, kind of a tall tower here. This literally looks like the exact same representation of what they used in Game of Thrones. I wonder if this is what they're hiding in Antarctica that there is another version of history, that there is another version of what's happened and how we got to where we are. A whole nother culture, completely lost. It looks like there may have been, right here, some type of a landslide, perhaps, that might have destroyed part of this. But this, I'll zoom in a little closer here so people can see what I'm talking about. This square courtyard right here. And look at all the angles. Look at all the 90 degree angles you can see here. This is not natural. This is not normal. This is not uh, how mountain ridges just occur. And there are other things as well. People would ask, how would one survive? Well, what we know from Game of Thrones is that even in the iciest, coldest regions, there are these underground uh, vents that, uh, in this particular scene, it, it's kind of a hot tub-like effect. These hot springs. And what do we know from science? Well, we know that Antarctica is home to considerably more volcanoes than previously thought. This is an article from The Verge. This is from August 13th, 2017. 
Antarctica's ice sheet hides a massive system of volcanoes, one that is comparable to volcanic regions in East Africa and Western North America. 91 previously undiscovered volcanoes, some over 12,000 feet tall. It's over two miles high. That's all you would need. The heat, the hot water, the volcanic soil. And some would ask, well, wait a minute, how could things last that long? How could that building that you described in the art, it would have been completely destroyed by now. They found a 106-year-old fruitcake that was almost edible in Antarctica that they took down there uh, during um, Expedition Terra Nova. And I'll give you a link to this article. This is from NPR. This is another image. That's what it looks like modern day. After 106 years, it looks like it was built yesterday. This is all the crates they brought stuff in. It's exactly like it was at that time. And one second here. Sorry about that. Wall Street Journal. This is what they could have been eating. See, people would have to ask, okay, if they were down there, they would need a source of food. They would need a source of shelter. They would need um, the ability to basically get on with life. Well, look at the size of the squid. What would this squid have been eating? I mean, this thing was a giant. Wellington, New Zealand, a colossal female squid weighing 770 pounds, thought to be the only, sec only the second intact specimen ever found, was examined by scientists Tuesday. Clearly, plenty of food. This image we've shown before, this is from the British Antarctic Survey. The Voynich Manuscript describes an area of the world that has plants that no one has been able to identify. And some people have said, wait a minute, there was this Turkish or, or Indian. They have been able to extrapolate from the pictures what is more than likely being said in the script, but nobody has any idea about the language, the name of it, where it came from, or even who created it. And I guess I'll kind of leave with this image. These are Adelie penguins in Antarctica. Now I want you guys to soak up this image for just a second. Look at the dirt. Look at the greenery. And this is now. This is a modern picture from CNN. If we have images like this of fresh dirt and soil and greenery, Antarctica doesn't have to be this. It doesn't have to be this, you know, crazy Atlantis looking futuristic type of thing that we saw in um, Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the. Uh, the journey to Atlantis. It could be just something as simple as this. I think the artist here was trying to very subtly tell us something. You know, an expedition to Antarctica that found something like this would of course repurpose it if it had been long abandoned. You've got the walls, you've got the protection. I mean, this, this solves the shelter problem. They would have had to probably construct these silos, and these are not 15th century silos. Look at the height of them. And once again, what would they have been used for? And if it was, let's say it's, let's go ahead, if it was grain, where did they grow it in Antarctica in the 15th century? How did it, how did it get here? How did... It'd get transported here. Where was it? Um, if it was brought from Europe, that's actually even a bigger story. If there were people settling Antarctica or parts of Antarctica in the 15th century and had the ability and the wherewithal to build castles like this and homes like this and silos and then import 
grains and foodstuffs from Europe, though. That should be front page. That should be front page. So anyway, I'll leave on this image here. I'll let you guys take a look at this and let you guys do your own searches because Google searches are showing some very strange things now. I wonder if they are prepping for disclosure. I wonder if they're starting to leak stuff out now so that when it finally gets disclosed, people aren't completely taken by surprise. And I'll leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot style. 12 o'clock is 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Chris King. Isn't the land a site off-world, sir?